Now good morning students. In previous video, I discussed with you about the acid and bases. What? Acid, bases and salt. Now today we are going to discuss more about the acids. Now already acids, what is acid? Which give a H ion in the water is called the acid. So many things in, in your house are acid. Here I will write some examples of acid. First you see the vitamin C. All of you know the vitamin C very well. Some are is obtained in your fruits and it is also available in the tablets. Second is your lemon juice, orange juice, yogurts, busy drinks, then tomato juice, vinegar. All are the acids. In this a special acid is obtained. For example, in a lemon juice and orange juice. What type of the foods are? They are for a sour taste. Means khatte. When you eat this one, it look tastes like a sour. So here the citric acid is present in the lemon and orange juice. In tomato juice, oxalic acid is present. What? Oxalic acid is present. In vinegar, acidic acid is present. What acid is present in vinegar? That is your acetic acid. In yogurt, yogurt means dahi, in which lactic acid is present. Fizzy drinks means soft drink, in which carbonic acids are present. All these acids is mild in action. These acids is mild in action. But some acids are very very strong acid like your HCl, H2SO4 and HNO3. What? That is your HCl, H2SO4, HNO3. They are very very strong acid. It is also called a mineral acid. Sometimes it causes an acidic burn. What? Acidic burn. So some acids are weak acid and some acids are strong acid. Now questions arise is how the acids form? Acids are mainly the oxides of non-metal dissolved in the water. What they form are acids. What they form are acid. H2SCO3 is your carbonic acid. Which oxides of non-metal Dissolve in water, they form a acidic oxides. Okay, means they form a acidic. Okay, that is your carbonic acid. Sulfur dioxide, when it is react with the water, they form a sulfuric acid. Now acid is formed. Okay, now your concentrated acids and dilute acid. Now what is mean by concentrated acids and dilute acids? If the solution have more concentration of acid, means they have large amount of acid, then it is called a concentrated acid. Then it is called a concentrated acid. If the amount of acid is less, then it is called a dilute acid. Then it is called a dilute acid. Now acidic substance in air. From where they come in the air? The question is arises. Mostly which acidic substance in the air? That is your carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and your nitrate oxide. And next is your acid rain. Now how the carbon dioxide come in the atmosphere? When you burn a fossil fuel like coal, petrol, wood, charcoal, when it is come with the contact with oxygen, they produce a carbon dioxide because all the fossil fuel mainly contain a carbon. When carbon is combined with the oxygen, they form a carbon dioxide. Sulfur dioxide mainly it is obtained from the from where it is obtained from the ores okay from the ores 
and sulfur containing minerals mainly when you burn it then sulfur dioxide come in the atmosphere now oxides of nitrogen it is obtained when nitrogen is combined with the oxygen when nitrogen combined with the oxygen they form a nitric oxide immediately this nitric oxide combined with the oxygen and form a nitrogen oxide what they form a nitrogen oxide so all in this form come in the atmosphere they cause a acid rain when its concentration is very very high now what is acid rain when oxide of sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide go into atmosphere dissolve in water what they form acid rain that acid rain come into the earth and make a soil acidic but in soil some substances like they neutralize the acidic but if the concentration is very high then they make a soil acidic and they affect the fertility of soil and it is also has some affect on the monuments metal stream so acid rain is adversely affect that is all about the acid i hope you understand about the acid and acidic behavior for today up to here thank you and have a nice day